In this video, we're going to look at how we can add and subtract radicals. But before we do, we'll take a close look at how we add and subtract variables. With a problem like 5x plus 3x minus 2x, we recall from variables, as long as they all have like terms, they all have an x, we can add and subtract the numbers in front. 5 plus 3 is 8, minus 2 is 6 x's. We can think about radicals in much the same way, because if we replace the x, for example, with the square root of 11 in this problem, we have 5 root 11 plus 3 root 11's minus 2 root 11's, and we can do much the same thing in order to add and subtract these by adding and subtracting the like radicals. We had 5 root 11's, 3 more gives us 8 root 11's, minus 2 will give us 6 square roots of 11. Notice as we add and subtract, the square root part remained the same, and we simply add or subtract the numbers in front of the like radicals. So for example, if we have 7 times the fifth root of 6, plus 4 times the fifth root of 3, minus 9 fifth root of 3, plus 6 fifth root of 6, fifth plus the fifth root of 6, I might have said that last one wrong. What we can do is we can add them together by identifying the like radicals or the radicals that match. For example, the 7 has a fifth root of 6. It matches the fifth root of 6 at the end, which, just like with variables, has an invisible 1 in front. 7 plus 1 gives us 8 of these fifth roots of 6. We also have like terms that have fifth roots of 3 on them. So we subtract the numbers in front, 4 minus 9 is negative 5 of these fifth roots of 3. And we have our final answer, 8 times the fifth root of 6, minus 5 times the fifth root of 3. We cannot simplify this expression anymore, as the radicals do not match. Fifth root of 6 and fifth root of 3 cannot be combined in any way with adding and subtracting. Again, when adding and subtracting with radicals, we identify the like radicals and combine them by adding and subtracting the numbers in front, or the coefficients. As we do, the radical part will not change.